Hey guys, so I did a super fight at Polaris in September where I fought one of the most accomplished guys in Europe, Luca. But I was able to take his back and get the shock, so I'm gonna do a breakdown of how I did the back take. So the whole back take sequence started from De La Hiva. I was looking to get the collar grip because I really want to have upper body control whenever I play this position because it's a lot easier to then off balance and find the way to burn bolo, X guard and etc. But Luca was aware about this so he was posturing up, standing tall and he broke off the grip. So instead I went for the lapel. Whenever someone is standing tall and kind of posturing up I really like to go for the Kyotera lock. So the way I did that was to hug around his leg with my left arm and then what I wanted was to grab on my belly and then butterfly hook with my right leg to start to apply pressure on his leg. This can lead to a lot of stuff because if they don't defend it you can get the ankle lock. Other times you can get into the X guard as they defend or you can even enter the Baron Bolo. But Luca did a great job of defending the Kyotero lock by controlling the free leg and also angling his body. He was able to alleviate a lot of the pressure on his ankle, but the issue of doing that was that he was exposing himself for the pant grip. So I grabbed the pant and Luca's immediate response was to drop down on his knee. That enabled me to start going for my inversion. Uh, Luca eventually dropped down to his butt and he was using his left leg kind of on my face to control distance. If I were to continue for a normal Baron Bolo structure, would this actually be a huge issue because I would have this leg in between us, so he, I wouldn't really be able to close the gap and he could have used this leg to kick me away and a lot of the normal setups wouldn't work. So I had to adapt to the situation and instead of going for a normal Baron Bolo, I decided to set the crab ride hook and instead of continue inverting, I kind of went back and then got my head on the right side of the leg. Also notice how I'm inverting by rolling on my head. By rolling on the head I'm able to generate a lot of power. I actually fought Luca back in 2018 and we had a very similar scramble. And if you noticed what I did then was that I didn't really spin on the top of my head but rather on my neck. And you can see that I generate way less momentum. I was able to stack him immediately as I inverted. And I used both of my hands on the pant and then I used my left leg in a stomp position which is to have the foot blade behind the knee. So I was like actively trying to stack him as much as possible because that's kind of the goal whenever you're doing the inversion game. It is to stack them and start exposing their back so you can get the back take. So I was really focusing on stacking him, but he did a good job of taking away my stomp leg. But because of both of my hands were on the pant, I was able to maintain the stack and I was able to stack him so much that I could start to go for the back. So what I did was to put my right leg very close to his head and then I threw my left leg over as a top hook. So I used like my heel on the side of his hip so I can pull his hip to the side and I can start to climb for the back. Immediately he reacted by grabbing my leg and trying to peel it off. But the issue by doing this is that he's enabling me to start doing like an arm drag motion. So I went inside and I grabbed the triceps and I pulled myself behind and I was able to then go for the seatbelt and secure the back take. Thank you so much for watching this video. I really hope that you liked the breakdown. Make sure to leave a comment, like the video and also subscribe to the channel.